What up, world? It's your boy, Ethan Scott. Welcome back to all of you who are coming back. Hopefully, if you are watching this, you at least checked out the first episode of Firewatch so you know where we are in this episode of Firewatch. To all of you who are here for the first time, welcome here. And I hope you enjoy. <clears throat> And I hope everybody had a happy holiday. I didn't do like a holiday theme stream. I didn't think of anything too much. Hydrate Ethan. Okay, I can do that. Hold on. I have a bottle here somewhere. Ha ha. I have been hydrated. Thank you, Vilani. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I didn't think of a holiday theme. <coughs> To, uh, or a holiday stream to uh, do, so I just kind of left it as is. Um, we might do something, but not this time around. But here we are back in Firewatch, and we can probably do this. Hold on. I don't want to just do that, so it's less strain on the computer. All right. There we go. So we're back in Firewatch. This is where we left off. The save was actually backed up a little bit. I had to come back to this point but let's uh let's progress from here oh do i have to hold on i just realized i have the like volume really low and there's a lot of talking in this game so i'm gonna bring it up a little higher there's not much like music or anything so let's go back to this Rosen. I used to talk to the service, which we means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Great. There's no backup. That would be the case. Can I go fix it? Should I be worried? I mean, we've had issues with the radios going out in this area before. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Like Remember Forest Burns? You hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. There you go. Will there do. you go. Thanks, Hank. And I'm protecting from forest fire by almost lighting this wooden sign on fire. So that'll be good. What? What, what am I... It just said reply. I guess I got to reply right away. All right, yeah, stay over there with fireworks and the fireplace. And all the fire stuff is right here. Um, let's see here. Oh, there's whiskey. Oh, that's the whiskey I got. No, that's right. Mug. Forest burns. I don't want forest burns. Um, yeah, I guess let's open the door. She said something about... I wasn't listening. <laughs> she said something about going through the cave. So we want to go out through the cave. I know how to do that. Oh, and look. The fireplace is right next to two propane tanks. We're really not actually paying attention to fire safety here on Firewatch. It's not happening. What? Oh, I can hop over. Well, that didn't work. There we go. <laughs> What's in here? Ooh, there's a cistern. Can I, like, turn you off and on? No. Oh. I can. Good to know. That's good. Okay. All right, so where was that cave? Like, there was a way to get down to that cave, but I have to, like, climb. Is it over here? It's like, no, it was... I guess I could look at a map. It's ridiculous, though. Who uses maps? Yeah, it was this way, because, like, I knocked down the sign. I thought that tree over there was someone. It looked like someone standing over there. All right, let's see here. All right? Yeah, it's down this way, isn't it? Maybe. Is it this way? It's not this way. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ooh. Where is that? Tell me again. Oh, look. This looks like something. Can I climb down here? No. Oh, my goodness. Guys, when you're making games, every game shift is run, not R. Am I supposed to be going down this way? I don't even know, but there's something over here, like one of those things, and I want to check it out. Oh, my God. Cold morning fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, let's talk about Bucket. Uh, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just going to keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? What? Okay, good. Uh, hey, your button no, is still down. No, I don't think he has any idea. That's not gonna work. That's not how radios work. I'm absolutely sure. Delilah, I can hear you. Would you? Yeah, that's not how radios work. I'm not even gonna right. bother. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into oh, her business. Like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here. But I am. We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. I don't even know where I am anymore. Let's see here. I'm there. Where am I supposed to be going? That's the lake trail. That's two forks. That's the cave. Yeah, I went totally in the wrong direction. Okay. So put that down and let's go. Here. I need to be facing the right way. So I want to go north and then east. Oh, stop doing that. So that way's north. Two forks east. There we go. Back to where I was. I've been playing a lot of Green Hell, unfortunately. Oh, hey, Baby Addy. I love this game, too. I haven't played it in a really long time. Baby Addy? Addy? I'm not sure how to say that, but hello. I've actually been playing a lot of Green Hell. Unfortunately, my computer is not strong enough to actually stream it, so you guys don't get to see me play Green Hell, which is unfortunate. But I'm walking through this forest, and I'm, like, looking for... <laughs> things to scavenge. I'm looking, <laughs> making sure that I'm not getting attacked by Wahara. Uh, it, it, <laughs> wrong game. All right, so what is this over here? That's my outhouse. That's better. Yeah, generator, outhouse. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. <laughs> I pee wherever I want as well. Oh, that's good to know. You know. Jesus. Okay. Risky there, man. Woo. -hoo. I mean, you could have climbed down. There's like steps and stuff. Okay. Just do. I mean, that. <clears throat> I don't even like to jump that far in Green Hell. You get abrasion. You need to like put on a wrap or something. This guy's just like, yeah, screw it, I'll jump. Run, go. So beautiful. Such a pretty, like, 
aesthetic. And it's not even like <clears throat> some alien world or something. This is literally like, where was it, Colorado? Yeah, it's in Colorado. It exists. You can go here and see it. <laughs> I've been to Colorado, but I only skirted, like, through the bottom section. But it was beautiful. Colorado is beautiful. Did she say go down the gorge? Is this where I'm going? Let's look at my map, see if there's something. I'm at least going to the right place. Telephone wire. So I'm probably going all the way up there. Jesus. All right. Apparently, we're going for a long hawk to walk today. I tried to say hike and walk at the same time. I said hawk. <clears throat> and down into the cave. Don't jump off this one. Oh, Jesus. You just jumped into a cave, man. Whoa. What was that? Oh. <laughs> Listen to the soundtrack on Spotify all the time. That's awesome. Thank you for the follow, Baby Addy. Baby 80. Really want to get that correct. It looks locked. It is locked. So I guess I got to go through here. It like... Say it however you want. All right, Baby 80. I'm going to say it like that. But, uh... Your follow made a noise, and... It, triggered and i was like oh what was it whoa, whoa. <laughs> no but thank you for the follow that's awesome i really appreciate that uh, i probably should have closed this there you go and i think r to toggle jogging yeah let's go for a jog nice morning run recklessly crap gap in pro oh yeah let's clear this there we go yeah that's better now I didn't know I could do that. Are there a lot of those? I don't know. All right, because I'm still heading north. That's what I got to do. North. Yeah. Okay. Oh, telephone wires. That's what we're fixing, right? We're looking for a down telephone wire, right? Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. Well, follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Okay. No, it's funny you say you listen to the soundtrack on Spotify all the time. Um, I, me and Vellani actually listen to Fallout 4 soundtrack, like, religiously. We listen to it all the time, just throw it on in the background. And I don't know what it is. It's that like that 1950s swing kind of mood. It's just great. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm. Oh, what's what are we looking at? I just saw something. What is it? See, say, see something, say something. What is this? Hiya! I was a pole vaulter in, in my last life. Oh, I can see it. Look. There's a break in the line. Oh, I can also see that. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up, Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. What? Reply. I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. Vulcan Rider. Uh, we've introduced a couple new games. So it's in the rotation. And I just wanted to get through like two episodes of the new games before I went back to Kerbal. But Kerbal is still in the rotation. We will be getting back to Kerbal and working on the Cochrane Mark VI is what we were working on last time. I think I was able to figure something out. And Vulcan Rider, I think we'll be going into Space Planes pretty soon with that. 
So we will be back to Kerbal. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Yeah, I bet. That would probably freak some people out. I'd also wonder why you didn't do something about it, you know? You just sat there and was like, oh, yeah, I can't talk to anyone. Oh, well. I don't know if I'm supposed to be looking for, like, side quests while I'm doing this, or if it's just, like, straight through the storyline kind of a thing. I think it's straight through the storyline. It's not, like, random events that happen or anything, I don't think. It's kind of a playthrough. Well, I can tell you there. Oh, can I? Yep, there we go. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Sounds good. Let's go see what the damage is. Should be able to go up over here. Looks like it. Oh, man. Come on, people. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Clean up. Gotta clean up, guys. Our forests are precious and beautiful. They don't need your beer cans. Oh, great. You just love doing that, don't you? Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. <clears throat> I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Yeah, I would hate that too, Delilah. I didn't. I don't think that was really part of the. I accidentally land. Accidentally landed on the mun. Well, I mean, sometimes they're happy accidents, just like Bob Ross used to say. Little happy accidents. <laughs> I remember the first time I landed on the MUN, I definitely fell over and then had to launch myself up the side of a cannon to get off of it again. Or a canyon, not cannon. Go to hell. Are those panties? Oh, it was those girls. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? Why? I, I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. I can feel you there, like, but I mean, I'm convinced that if I was on Apollo, like, 7 or something like that, and I'm flying by the moon, I don't remember which ones actually flow by the moon, but if I'm on Apollo 7 and I'm flying by the moon, I'd be like, uh, Houston, uh, I can't hear you, um, um, I don't know what to do, I'm gonna land. <laughs> oh, I wasn't listening to the dialogue at all. Big into Red Eagle. Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Okay, am I not going to report these panties sitting here that say go to hell? Because it's definitely those girls from yesterday. Oh, there we go. More beer. Come on, guys. Work with me here. All I'm trying to do is keep this forest safe. You see more beer down that way? No, they probably didn't go down. They walked lazily and drunkily. Yeah, see? Told you. 
They weren't cans when I was standing up there before. I looked into this gully. That's fine. I want to make sure I get all the cans anyways. I don't know if there's like a bonus for actually cleaning up the entire park. But it's like, it's definitely an option. So I think there will be one. Your voice is very similar to the character. Well, I keep thinking the character is talking. <clears throat> yeah, that's this is actually me. Like, you guys get to a one-on-one -on -one with the dude who's in the forest of forest watch. No, that's not true. I... <laughs> we can pretend. But, like, I'm, I didn't see any more beer, but this is the only place it leads to, so probably. Long drop down, can't get back up. Ooh. Climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. Just Jonesy like Lake, two forks, thoroughfare. I mean, I'm obviously supposed to go the other way. I just wanted to go this way to look at something while I'm out here. So, like, that should lead up to her lookout. Why isn't she doing this? Can I go to her lookout? Where is... Oh, it's five miles away. That makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, she's five miles away. I thought it was just like up and around the corner. Well, I can tell you that uh, based off of the first episode that I did, the first like couple of days in this game, um, although I sound like the character, I'm actually not because I didn't agree with any of his decisions and I would have never ended up here in this situation because I probably would have been with Julia in like Australia or something, making sure she was around her family as she was sick and dying. But you know, that's just me. Just, oh, what happened here? This looks treacherous. Were you that drunk? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, well, I try to be. Lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. It's true. Swipe. Yeah. Take. Good wins. Ah. Rude. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That's good. Was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left. Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Huh. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Uh-oh. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers oh. ago. Great kid. Oh. Do you bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah. But I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For Brian, at least. Huh. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. Uh. Oh, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Sounds good. As you immediately stop talking to me. There we go. Now I can repel. Oh, hydrate Ethan. Okay, I've got hydration right here. <clears throat> Thank you, baby 80. I was getting thirsty. Alrighty, let's... Oh, no, how do I... Oh, there we go. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, that rope didn't break on me. Yay. Okay. What's, uh, what's, do I have to go down a certain way? Do I have to jump? Oh, there's another rope. I have to rope attach for there. 
I don't know. I'm using a lot of rope, like, really quick. You could have definitely just walked down that. Like, that's a barely a slant. You've walked up. Your stairs are steep, like, steeper than that. Yeah, but he looks cooler. That is true. All right, let's see here. One, two, three, four. Hey. Copy map info. What am I looking at here? Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both creatures. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting looted. Yeah, it's that's what it looks like. To know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Oh, a topless Polaroid. Wow. Uh, read. I want to read it. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? Not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving Ron a southern accent, but... I went up to check the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for L.O.'s, so I figured I'd stay away. L.O.'s, look out. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? Oh, God. I'm starting to think Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot, Ron. All right, let's see here. Uh, keep it. I'm stealing your letters, boys. What is this? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Well, maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Yeah. Now drop it. There you go. Close the cash and let's continue on. I don't even, like, do I have a time? Of day? It's like noon. I Ooh. see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. You reckon? It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, let's just go running through the woods. There's no bear or anything out here. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. And this is stupidly dangerous, what I'm doing. go. It was off this direction, wasn't it? Oh no! They blocked my path. I have to go around, I guess. Huh. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Wow. Um, language? Excuse me? Flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't, but I do now. <laughs> well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! <laughs> I might use that, Flapjack. I mean... I'm rarely she in a bar to get my... Whoa, what? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Oh, Whoa. I'm talking about Julia. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Hmm. Fuck. Yeah. 
What was it like when you guys found out? Why would you want to know about that? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. Oh, Jesus. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Put some more rope out since I've got endless rope. A flapjack is an oat bar in the UK. <laughs> Wait, so are you saying that you guys call what we would call flapjacks oat bars? Or meaning, uh, I'm so confused right now, but I, I dig it. I don't want no flapjacks or oat bars coming around me. In the States, I guess is how you say it. In the United States, it's like a pancake, I guess, is a flapjack. I don't know if they do something special to make it a flapjack, but I'm pretty sure it's like a pancake. It's like a big granola bar. Nice. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks. That helps. Yeah, actual directions. Actual directions help you, oat bar. <laughs> I like oat bar more than flapjack. <laughs> I didn't like I didn't listen to her at all. I just started running in the only direction that they were allowing me to run. Apparently I have my light on. You just like always have it on. Oh, column of smoke, there it is. the smoke go oh there it is highly doubt i can just run through all of this how'd you meet oh my god woman met in a bar mm, the birthplace of modern romance i walked over and asked her what her major was because i thought she was a student not a prop smooth that's oh. me i did make the first move though oh you were brave i was drunk guess i gotta go through this way what other games do I play? Well, currently, right now, we're playing Firewatch, Frostpunk, um, Stardew Valley, Kerbal Space Program. I feel like I'm forgetting one. Hyperlight Drifter is what we're streaming right now. But I play, I play a lot of games. Um, I play Green Hell. I play Conan Exiles. I play some Phasmophobia. I play some P99 every once in a while. Project 99. Conan! Yes, Volani's actually trying to get me back into Conan again. So I'll probably be playing Conan soon again. Um, but I've... I've for a very long time now, for about 10 years now, I've been alpha testing games. So I play a lot of, a lot of random games that just, you probably will never hear of. Some of them get famous. Like I was alpha testing Stranded Deep when it first came out. And uh, I didn't get into Kerbal until later on. So I didn't alpha test that. But I, was, I alpha tested Conan. I did Beam and G. I just saw today that the game Beam NG is on sale because of the holiday sale on Steam for $20. <clears throat> when I got that game about seven years ago, I downloaded it for free. <laughs> 
but it's a cool thing to check out. It's fun. You can crash cars and stuff and create different scenarios. Oh, what's this? That's obviously a campfire. Is this where it was coming from? No. Okay. I need to move. But yeah, I've played a lot of games. I've found more games to work into the rotation. Like, I know that this game will probably... It's probably going to be kind of a short playthrough because it doesn't have a really long storyline involved in it. So I already have a game prepared for when this when this playthrough kind of comes to its end. Um, I guess I can leak that. I don't know if you guys have checked it out yet, looked into it at all, but there's this game. It's called Among trees and i don't really know entirely what's going on with it i know it's a survival game and i know it has this same aesthetic like this same beautiful almost kind of cell shaded but semi-realistic and just artistically done aesthetic and uh so once this one once we get through this playthrough uh the game among trees will be taking over for it and we'll check that out play through it it look it's very pretty looking what go be with her just go back to boulder you should go be with her that's my opinion uh maybe i'll go visit i don't know well why not yeah She's seriously with her family in melbourne they're not big fans of mine yeah i wouldn't be either oh her sister susan is great but her parents i uh think they always thought she could do better and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Yeah, you could have. I have no doubt you did your best. No, he know. didn't. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. True. 100% true. No, but I am very excited, actually, to uh, eventually play Among Trees. It looks beautiful. Uh, I don't even... I don't think... I don't know if there's anything like... Bad, I would say bad. Uh, if there's like enemies or something that can harm you or if there's like a storyline. I don't know. I just looked at it. It was pretty. I love survival games and building and crafting. And it had all of those. So I was like, this is perfect. So we'll find the rest out when I go to play it. That's the fun. I don't like to get too deep into them. Like I said, I did a lot. I do a lot of alpha testing. So I like to really get a feel for the game by playing it especially if i can stream it for the first time and you guys can get like authentic reactions how many hikers go missing in the shoshone more than none unfortunately with most of them being in this area the thoroughfare because it's so remote why i found an old flyer for a missing hiker it just got me thinking that's all like how you said one day you were talking to the goodwins and then the next you weren't ned goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine he was just a PTSD a hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. What, grizzlies won't kill an a hole? They don't have a taste for unapologetic pricks? Nope, it's why we haven't lost a ranger in 11 years. So, you don't think anything bad happened to those guys? What do you mean, lo you haven't lost a ranger in 11 years? We usually find evidence of stuff like that. For instance, if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and shredded pair of ugly cargo shorts. I like these shorts. I'm sure you do, Henry. <coughs> I don't want your pine cones. Get out of here. Close. Um, haven't lost someone in 11 years, then where did Ned Goodwin go? You don't know. No clue. Don't be telling people that. Lush Woods report. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Uh, ah, get out of the map. I want to reply to this. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. That's can amazing. You You'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Oh, okay. Cool. 
That's cool. I didn't know that. You guys all share your water like a tree community. It's the Ents. Where is he? Treebeard. Treebeard, where are you? If you guys don't know what I'm doing, this is a reference to Lord of the Rings. Um, <laughs> and it's mostly for Vellani. <coughs> but she's probably asleep by now. Oh, there's the river. And then the river should lead me. Oh, let's just walk in the river. It's where the plume of smoke is. Because I don't even see it in the sky anymore. It's not like targeting it. No, I don't see it. She said follow the river, though. Fly, you fools. So if you guys like Lord of the Rings... Oh, there's something there. If you guys like Lord of the Rings and you know that line as uh, Gandalf falls off the bridge, stopping the Balrog... Interesting note, what most people don't know is once you exit <clears throat> the Mines of Moria, if you make a left and follow up the mountains, you'll be ending up where the eagles live. And that's where Gandalf was telling him to go. So for all of you who sit there and wonder why they didn't just fly the eagles from the get-go, well, Gandalf was trying, but, you know, Balrog. <laughs> Instead, Frodo and his gang will walk very, very far on foot the whole time. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Yeah, I bet so too. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It's also suspended from the tree with nothing. It's it's levitated. It's a ghost. It's a red ghost. You don't want to report a red ghost. I'm just going to call it a piece of cloth. I can't go up that, can I? I don't know how to go up a waterfall. There's a walkway over here. It definitely goes up. But... I don't see any more evidence, so maybe I'm going the wrong way. Maybe I have to go this way. Let's follow the river to the right. Look, the eagles would have been taken out by the Nazgul we've talked about. You you keep saying that, but the eagles were not taken out by the Nazgul while they were flying into Mordor and fucking everybody up. So, apparently, the Nazgul aren't as strong as the Eagles. Just telling you. Could have flown. Gandalf knew it. Wait, did I miss something? I'm arguing about Lord of the Rings here. <laughs> ah, there it is. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Jesus. Track them down. What? what a job this is. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And I can't even squat or it's crouch. There's a better word for that. It's on the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. I'm just making sure there's no beer cans because these people are messy and I'm not going to have a messy park. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. I can't take the case of beer. I took the whiskey. Not the case of beer. Look at this mess. No, I have not. Oh, oh, no. Maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. Really? Let's stage, take whatever you want. Let's rip. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um, I don't know. It sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. 
You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah. Yeah, this just turned from annoying teens into someone might be dead. Um, <clears throat> I have not played The Walking Dead Telltale. Telltale. Is it good? I have a general problem with The Walking Dead uh, in that by season two, they should have had some place set up. It's not that hard to build a hut. I've I've done it, like the primitive stuff. Uh, cut down some sticks, you know, find some leaves, find some vines. It's really not as hard as it looks, and they had a long time to work on it. They're going from house to house to house, scavenging for food. I just, I, eh, nah, kind of irked me. And then, I don't, like, if I'm watching something about zombies, I want the zombies to be the bad guys. It was, like, not even through season one, and the zombies were not a problem anymore. The people were. So, first season of the game is very good story-wise. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to, I gotta report a lot of stuff. I mean, hopefully, like... Uh, some of the clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, no, it's not good. <laughs> it's just... I was much more into, like, 28 days later kind of zombies, because, honestly, if it's slow zombies, we don't really have that big of a problem. Uh... Not to mention that in zombie movies, no one's ever heard of zombies before for some reason. Like, if you saw a zombie walking down the road, you'd be like, no, 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 you got to shoot it in the head. That's how zombie works. Because everybody knows how zombies work, you know? But it's it's much more difficult when they're, like, screaming and running at you versus slowly walking down the street going, ooh, ooh. Oh, Jesus. What does this note say? I want to pick it up first. And read it before I, like... Dear Cycle, <clears throat> I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks dick. He's got a mouth on you. Someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Yeah. Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. Too bad. It's, it's, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers, they could be having a bad mushroom trip, we really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Go! Oh. Day three. Day three. No, but I do... I would check out the game. Like, I always give a game a fair chance. You never know what mechanic they've added that made it cool or what little twist in the storyline makes it unique. Find boards downstairs to patch window. Okay. Hey, Henry? Yes? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? I am... I'm... Eight foot tall, purple. I got a horn sticking out of my head. Um, like well, Burt Reynolds. I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh huh. Hey, you asked. How many okay. do I need? Well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts wow it's hot and maybe by the way i'm not white thank you uh, you know pc or whatever they say 
Thank you, Henry. God, you are the whitest man. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. <coughs> Clothes, I don't really think about it. Yep, Clothes, that's me. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Hoodies. I, I like barn. hoodies. Ooh, I love the buckle barn. Just I'm constantly wearing... I'm, I'm wearing a hoodie right now. I do. I'm always wearing hoodies. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Burt Reynolds. We've been over this. Yep, that's true. That's... Yeah, we'll say that because that's true about me. bad or anything, but yeah. How'd you do that? Your illustrious boxing career? No, I, a guy was drunk and jumped on my back, and I slipped and ate a parking meter. No, no, my nose has been broken like four or five times, various different occasions. Get out of here. Once by my sister. It was an accident. It's okay. What? Is, is that okay? Uh. Don't, don't answer. I'm going to do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. What the? Steely. Uh, they're steely. Cold, hard stare. Yeah, that, uh, sure. that's what I look Got like, it. like a Siberian husky. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, I got enough boards. I thought that's how many it would take. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Trying to organize here. What? I can't put the cleaner back? Yeah, you'll just sit there. Got a so oh there we go old's got a so there we go um let's see here toolbox you're kind of in the way of my fire finder can you oh you okay put that I thought you could read them it's like Jesus can you actually sit here and just read books ah. Place is a mess. Forest burns. How could you let them leave this place in such a mess? Um, everything good? Other than that, what is that's a mess too. I can't like make my bed. Nineteen eighty nine. I was two years old. Nice. All right. Well, let's say I'm ready. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. You know, I'm going to hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, you do that. No. Okay, now I'm ready. Hey, now I'm ready. That... Whoa! Wasn't I just on day three? What just happened here? I'm not telling you how old I was in 1989. Let's just say I was in the army. Well, thank you for your service, Vulcan Rider. I did five years in the Coast Guard. Having a nice afternoon? Uh oh, yeah, sure. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Of course you did. Lovely. To meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then that's good service too, there, baby eighty. Appreciate it. Got to deal with some people. Uh, wait, how do I reply? Oh yeah. Um, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, 
it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? It's kind of hey, worth mentioning. I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. Oof. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Yeah, I'll just be worried about my impending doom. Day 15. The girls are missing. And I... All I did was throw their radio. They're rude. They don't get a radio. Oh no. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Oh no, what's going on? What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Jesus, I thought there was a fire. You're a big dumb idiot. What is going on? Why do you oh, think it's Julia? Baby, you sound tired. Mm, I am. Why am I talking to Julia? You having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. What is going on? <sighs> oh, well, buddy! I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. What? Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, I may know what's going on here. Day 33. Man, we're skipping. All right. Now I'm here. Hike north to retrieve supplies. Bring supplies all the way up to our towers. Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, oh, of course you work? do. It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Kind of. Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. Okay. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes. How much stuff do I take? I don't even know how long I'm lasting. That's she weird. This job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Why can't we can't have wheelbarrows full of marijuana out here? No one told me that. I'm gonna have to go get rid of some so, wheelbarrows. Like two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. Yeah. And I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and. I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just mm. ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. What? Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I well, yeah. Here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Well, thanks. Uh, I figured 
you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Pick up. Close. There we go. Now what do we do? Why? I don't want to be greedy. Why be greedy? Is there like something special that happens? I don't want to be greedy. That's... No. I'm not going to be greedy. It's like screwing over another human being. I'm not... Not All ready right, for that. Got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Yeah. Give <laughs> into your dark side, Ethan. Day sixty-four. Well, we started off on day like two. We're on day sixty-four yeah, now. Front row seat for what Jesus. might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. Shot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Jeez. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. The flapjack yeah, fire. He'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Mm -hmm. So there's this creek down the hill, and um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Skinny dip? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then on nights like tonight, when it is so disgusting, hot. I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. What is a flapjack fire? That's a fire that was started cooking pancakes. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. Yeah, I, I will not drink tequila again. Uh, yeah, maybe. Jesus, Delilah. The fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. What do you mean, no, I'm not? Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. It is quite beautiful. Oof. Yeah. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know what is this game? Oh, it's Firewatch. It was a story playthrough. Hold on. It's been really nice. I wish I was over there. What is going on? I wish you were too. What? No, no, I don't. Well, we could just watch this fire. It's gonna burn for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Day 76. All right, guys. <clears throat> this seems like it's just gonna be keep progressing forward. And since we started on day... Whew. 72. Save the game. Um, I think this is actually where we're gonna call it. I was only gonna be doing an hour of streaming tonight. Um... And we progressed 74 days, was not expecting that, but I mean, good for us. <laughs> and Delilah is getting very frisky, even though she knows I have a wife who is somehow dying of Alzheimer's. I don't know what's going on here. To answer your question, Bohika Monkey, <coughs> first of all, what's up, Monkey? Um, 
Second, uh, this is Firewatch. It is a game that was really, really popular back in like 2017. I don't think anyone's really watched it since, so I figured I'd pull it back on the stream and give it a another showcase because I haven't played it in forever. But so we're doing a, a let's play of this, and that's what's going on. And you're kind of in. It's like 1989. Your wife got sick, and then you were a horrible husband, and she moved to Melbourne with her family, and you went and took this job in the middle of the Colorado forest looking for fires and now you're talking to delilah you're listening to delilah uh <laughs> now you're talking to delilah who is uh getting very friendly wyoming it's in wyoming my bad not colorado it's in wyoming so yeah that's what's happening and so far you pissed off these two teenage girls and then you had to track them down because they had a campfire but they're tent was shredded and then they went missing they left a note saying you're a jackass and then they went missing so you're probably going to end up in under investigation this is turning out great you probably probably should have just you know stayed with your wife and took care of her but anyways thank you guys so much for joining us like i said we're playing firewatch this time we've also added to the lineup hyperlight drifter uh, we got KSP, we have Stardew Valley, we have Frostpunk. So we'll be playing through those as I come back on and stream. Thank you for joining us. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful night. Happy holidays. And I'll catch you all on the flip side. Thank you again, Baby80, for the follow.